Well, today Perth News has this week been given exclusive access inside the landmark projects transforming our city. Today, we're having a look at a little known development right on the jewel of Perth's Swan River. Work on a landmark tower near the causeway will start next year as part of a $2 billion redevelopment of East Perth. The Waterbank project will redevelop land around River's Edge, north of the causeway. The six hectare development will include up to 1,000 apartments, as well as shops, cafes, bars and a public beach. It will also be built to allow a ferry terminal sometime in the future. Josh Jurger is at the site this morning. He's back in the hard hat, the vest, the gloves, the glasses. You've got it all going on again, Josh. How's it looking down there? Yeah, everything, everything except a, a shovel, which would be <laughs> uh, relevant, considering I'm sitting, standing on quite a giant sand pit. I'm not in Lancelin, I'm actually in the middle of the CBD. Over there, we've got the causeway. Just behind me, we have some spectacular views looking over Burswood. And there, over to my right, we have the Wacker. Now, here is going to be a massive redevelopment, a $1 billion redevelopment. It's known as Waterbank. A lot of work has gone into it so far, about a 165,000 cubic metres of infill has been dumped here. That's to settle the land. This was reclaimed land, so it's to squeeze all that water out. It's a, it was actually a lot higher. It was actually about two and a half metres higher than we are currently standing on. Now, I'm joined this morning by the project director of, of this project, Tim Urquhart from Lendlease. Good morning, Tim. Morning, Josh. How are you? Well, thanks. When this is finished, what are we going what, 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 to... What are we going to see? Look, I think this is a magnificent piece of real estate and what this will be is, I believe, Perth's first inner-city waterfront haven. It is going to be the opportunity to really reconnect the city, the, the city with the river and, uh, you know, really blend that urbanity with this fantastic, serene, natural environment. In simple terms, it's going to be about a 1,000 apartments and some, you know, fantastic new residential and commercial accommodation. There's also plans for a, uh, a public beach. Now, I, I can't imagine people bringing down their surfboards, but I imagine it'll be something a bit like Matilda Bay. Yeah, very much so, Josh. And, of course, that's a great tradition of Perth. You know, people used to swim in the Swan River, still do, and certainly we'd like to try and recreate that so that it's a very inviting place to come and jump off the jetty into the river. So what's the process over the next couple of years for this site? process for us is we're now in the uh, stages of designing the first buildings. You know, we'll be launching those to the marketplace uh, around about this time next year, a bit earlier, and then ideally we'll be starting construction next year. In terms of an entry statement, as people come over the causeway, uh, what type of impression is that going to leave? Oh, look, this is a fantastic gateway site into the city. You know, we will have um, two, you know, major iconic residential towers and they really will, you know, be one of the great landmarks of this city and uh, say what, you know, Perth is all about. In terms of the way this will change how people use East Perth or, or recreate in East Perth, what difference will that make? Look, I think this is really about having a, a new inner city lifestyle. It's going to change the nature of how people actually see living in the city. It is going to be about, you know, great recreational opportunities. It is going to be about retail amenity. But I think in a far more localised manner, people are going to feel very comfortable coming down here and hopefully it'll be the place where they just want to have fish and chips at any time of the day. I'll look forward to it. Thanks very much, Tim. Thanks very much, Josh. Now, tomorrow, we'll change things up. Instead of looking at some massive projects going up, we're going to look at a, a transport uh, project. Uh, projects that are going to change the way we move around the outer suburbs. Tim? Josh, you, uh, you omitted the most important landmark that's right behind you there, my old stomping ground, Trinity College. Trinity College, yeah, yeah. look, they're, they're going to have some of the best for. views once this is finished. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Josh. We'll catch you tomorrow.